Hello, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. And today we're talking about 10 realistic, easy ways to eat less processed food. If you follow me over on my main channel, I'll put it right here on the screen for you. It is always linked down in the description box. You know that one of my big goals for 2023 was to reduce the amount of processed foods that I'm eating and really focus on a clean whole food diet. So these 10 realistic ways I'm implementing myself and it's really simple to reduce the amount of processed foods that you're eating, which will help you reach your health and weight loss goals. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough. It is the easiest way to reach your health goals. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's jump into 10 realistic ways to eat less processed foods. define what is a processed food because you may be a little bit surprised that some of the foods that you think aren't processed actually are. So a processed food is any food that has been canned, cooked, frozen, pasteurized, or packaged. So even those frozen fruits and vegetables, those are considered processed foods. So it's hard to eliminate processed foods altogether, but we can reduce the amount that we're consuming with these 10 realistic easy steps. We want to enjoy some processed foods, things like frozen fruit, canned vegetables, frozen vegetables, pasteurized dairy products. Those are all part of a healthy diet. What we're trying to reduce is the amount of ultra processed foods that we're eating. Things like chips, crackers, cookies. Those are the types of things that we want to reduce for a healthier lifestyle. So there are 10 ways that are really easy and realistic, starting with number one, which is to keep healthy foods on hand. If you're not bringing those ultra processed foods into your house, you can't eat them. So make sure that what you're putting in your grocery cart and what is ending up in your home is as least processed as possible in our healthy option. Where we can fall into the ultra processed food trap a lot of times is when it comes to snacks. That's why it's important to really focus on healthy snacks. Snacks. Things like nuts, nut butter, dried fruit, fresh fruit, edamame, veggies and hummus. Keep an eye on the ingredients and things like trail mix and dried fruit to make sure there's no added sugar. But these can be healthy snacks that you have on hand that are portable that you can even take with you. You can even prep a few snacks if you have time on your hands like hard boiled eggs, turkey roll ups, homemade kale chips, homemade veggie chips. There's so many things that if you spend a little bit of time in the kitchen once a week, you can prep healthy, less processed snacks and have those on hand. Number two is to swap refined grains for whole grains. And the easiest way to explain this is let's think about bread. So instead of Wonder Bread, which is a super refined grain, choose a sprouted bread like Ezekiel bread. That's a simple swap that you can make. You're going to get in some extra protein, fiber, and really cut down on the amount of processing that's going into your bread. Some other things to think about are white pasta, rice, tortillas. Those are things that you can swap processed for a little less processed. You're also going to get some whole grains, some fiber, and some protein, which are all beneficial. Number three is to get creative in the kitchen. This kind of goes back to maybe prepping your own healthy snacks. For example, you can make veggie chips in your air fryer on a sheet pan. You can slice a potato really thin and make your own potato chips. You can even make chips out of zucchini and let me tell you, they're delicious. Also try carrots, turnips. Those are good things to make chips out of. Add a little bit of salt, healthy oil, and you have a much better alternative than the chips you find at the grocery store. You can also make up some chia pudding, air pop popcorn, overnight oats. There's a lot of things that you can make at home. Just get creative in your kitchen and dedicate an hour or two every single week to prepping your home with healthy, less processed snacks. Number four is drink more water. Stay away from sweetened fruits and teas and juices and focus on getting your hydration and your liquid in the form of water. All of these other things are high in sugar and virtually have no nutrients. Gradually trading out some of these other beverages like fruit juices and pops and seltzers and transitioning over to water is going to help eliminate some of the processed things that you're consuming. You can lean on sparkling water or flavored water 
that doesn't have any added sugar or little flavor enhancer packets that go into your water. The bottom line is, is drink your water. However you get your water in, get your water in. And if that means flavoring it, by all means flavor it. Number five is something I heavily rely on and this is meal prepping. It goes back to getting creative in the kitchen, spending a little bit of time in the kitchen every week to help you be more successful in the long run. You don't have to make one breakfast, one lunch, one snack and eat it all week. You can do what's called a buffet style meal prep. Maybe prepping a couple of protein sources, a couple of different vegetables, a couple of different carbohydrate sources and then each day you just pull from those different prepped things and you basically have a different meal every single day with the few buffet items that you meal prepped. For me, I can all, for me it's an hour or two in the kitchen on a Sunday and I've got my meals prepped for the week. Number six is eat more vegetables. This is another thing I've really been focusing on in the new year and that is to incorporate vegetables in my three main meals every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner and if I can get them in a snack fantastic. Vegetables are a high volume, low density food, which means that they have very, very low calories and you can eat a lot of them and get a lot of micronutrients, which are essential to an overall healthy lifestyle. And swap vegetables in for processed food. So instead of having potato chips as a side with your sandwich for lunch, how about having some vegetables instead? They're nutritious, they're a great source of fiber, and they definitely help keep you fuller for longer. So make sure that vegetables are making an appearance in all of your meals daily. Number seven is to switch up your shopping routine a little bit. Did you know that when you're grocery shopping, you should be focusing on the perimeter of the grocery store, the outside ring, all of those aisles in the middle, that's where all those ultra processed foods are. And if you spend the majority of your time grocery shopping in the outer ring of the store, you're going to automatically pick up a lot less processed foods. Not to mention going back to what you bring in your home. Don't put them in your shopping cart. Don't bring them into your home and then you're not able to eat them. If you don't have chips in your house, you can't eat them. And I don't know about you, but I am not committed enough to get in my car and drive to the grocery store for some potato chips. I'm just going to choose what's on hand in my house, which are going to be healthy choices. And lastly, with the grocery store, read your labels. Look at the ingredients. Make sure that they're ingredients that you want to put in your body. Kind of going back to dried fruit. Make sure there's no added sugar. Maybe choose freeze-dried fruit instead if you want to eliminate some added sugar. And also look at the nutrition label. Make sure that it's not too high calorie and that you're actually getting in some fiber and some protein. Number eight is try out some simple food swaps. Here are a few of my favorites. Trade your sugary breakfast cereal for a bowl of oatmeal with fresh fruit. Pop your own popcorn on the stove or in place of microwave popcorn. Whip up a homemade vinaigrette with olive oil and vinegar to drizzle over salads in place of processed dressings. Make trail mix using nuts, seeds, and dried fruit for a healthy al alternative to store-bought varieties. And top your salad with nuts or seeds instead of croutons. That's probably my favorite tip. I love nuts and seeds on my salad. It gives you that crunch, but you're getting in some healthy fat, some fiber, and some protein. Number nine is to eat less processed meat. When we're talking processed meat, we're talking deli meats, bacon, sausages. Those types of things are heavily processed. Instead of navigating towards those for your protein sources, have protein from the butcher shop, chicken, lean ground beef, steak, pork, fish. Navigate towards those instead of processed meats. And if you are going to be choosing processed meats, especially lunch meats, hot dogs, make sure you're navigating towards un cured meats. That's going to save you a lot of additives and a lot of ultra processing to make those particular meats. You can also lean on plant-based proteins for some extra protein. Things like tofu and tempa are great ways to get in protein and are way less processed than lunch meats, sausages, and hot dogs. And number 10 is probably the most important tip and that is to make changes slowly, baby steps. When we dive headfirst into things, it can become really overwhelming and that's when we quit. So make changes slowly. Pick one thing that you want to focus. Maybe you want to get vegetables in with every meal like I'm doing in the new year. And then once you've got that, like second nature, add in something else. Maybe it's staying in the perimeter of the grocery store. That's the first thing you want to focus on or not bringing ultra processed foods into your house. Just make changes slowly. And by the end of the year, you'll have all the healthy changes in place and you wouldn't have given up and quit because it was too overwhelming. So what's the bottom line of today's video? Remember processed foods are anything that have been cooked, packaged, frozen, or canned. So some of the healthy foods are considered processed foods. What we want to focus 
focus on our ultra processed foods and navigating away from those and bringing in a little bit less processed foods into our diet. Watch your sodium, your added sugar, your preservatives, your additives. Read those labels. Not only the nutrition portion of the label, but the ingredients as well. And try making a few simple swaps to eat a little less processed food every day. It is very easy to make these changes. And like I said, if you take it in baby steps, eventually you'll have all of the healthy changes in place. So if you enjoyed today's video and if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, what are some of your tips to eat less processed foods? The community would love to hear from you and we can always use all the tips that we can get. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. And thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helps you eat a little less processed foods in the new year. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.